we have Oprah Pop really can't put into words how sad we are about the news of the passing of Charlotte Figgy. And if those of you, a lot of you, I'm sure, are familiar with who she was, but if you don't, she was one of uh, the first children ever to get, who was diagnosed with Dervais syndrome to be treated with cannabis. And, uh, and she was, uh, and she responded, I mean, very, very well. And the, the story goes after her parents had exhausted all other options. I mean, all traditional medicines and pharmaceuticals and treatments. They decided to try this experiment. And they, so they got two doctors to sign off on it and it worked. I mean, really well. She went from 300 seizures a week to like one mild one. Uh, Incredible. And that was 10 years ago. And, um, Anyway, she became like the poster child for for the cannabis movement, and uh, we found out that she passed away this week from the coronavirus. And uh, her parents were just just real. I mean, just great people, great parents, real proactive. I mean, they, I'm sure they did everything they could to you know to protect her. But her body was probably so frail, and so she had so many problems from you know I think from suffering such a traumatic and. Uh, uh, Disease, but as well as the pharmaceuticals, she had a lot of problems mm-hmm. with the pharmaceuticals. I mean, I, from what I understand, I mean, it, I mean, her heart stopped a couple times, you know, and she had to be resuscitated. Uh, yeah, I mean, one of the reasons they decided to try this uh, is that she was a zombie from all the medication they had her on. Her parents were not interested in in drugs of any kind. I think he was ex-military, if I remember correctly. Yeah, right? No, he was in the military. He's a Green Beret, I believe. So he was very anti-drug. So he was very against trying this. And, uh, you know, the case, literally, they gave her the medication, and the next day she had no seizures. I mean, for the first time in no, her life. It was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. She went from how many a week to one? From 300 to, like, maybe one mild one. Yeah. And they were grandma it's seizures. A, they were, like, huge. just severe. Severe. And as well, she, her father was an army... Father was an army ranger. And as she grew up alongside of her twin sister, you know, her twin sister was growing and developing at a normal pace. And unfortunately, her twin sister's name is Chase. And um, unfortunately, Charlotte, because just like you say, because of all this, I mean, uh, just battered her little, you know, body. body. It was it was. um, Well, if there's a silver lining in it, it's that, you know, her case really turned the head of a lot of critical thinkers in the medical field i mean dr sanjay gupta did a documentary on it he changed his mind when he saw that everything changed it not just for for dr gupta but others took note you know that hey wait this this might actually work that's true that's absolutely true and you might also remember that the interview we did recently with researcher albert coles um he also had a young dravet's patient whose name eludes me at the moment. It's on episode 98, if you feel like looking that up. He, a good interview, yeah. He had a young Gervais patient, and it was his patient's success that Charlotte Figgy's parents had heard about. Right. So hmm. it's all kind of connected. You know, I recently watched a Ken Burns um, series on the Prohibition. It's terrific. Yeah, um, it's great. It's great. And, uh, you know... Being that we talk about our version of Prohibition, I thought it was a good thing. And it is a good thing for anybody to see. It's on uh, Netflix, I believe. And um, and there's all of these people whose names we don't know, um, long forgotten by people in our generation. But when you take the time to look back, um, these are the names of the people who mattered. And these were the incidents that came and went, but they really were turning points. And when we look back on Mm -hmm. the history of cannabis prohibition and somebody does something like Ken Burns did, they're going to devote an entire section, maybe an entire episode to Charlotte Mm -hmm. Figgy. That's how big she figures in all of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Her successful treatment, I think was a pivoting point in the pro medical marijuana movement. Without a doubt. It was after that. It's sort of, it's, that's when it really started going mainstream. That's when the, when the scales tipped into the exactly. mid- to where the majority of people started going, no, no, guys, we this is ridiculous. Exactly. Well, she will be missed. Rest in peace, Charlotte Figgy. <laughs> 